Would you turn to hymn number 35 for our first hymn this morning, number 35. It's one of the great hymns of the church, Great is Thy Faithfulness. remind you that the Holy Spirit has witnessed that this song should be sung this morning, so I'm persuaded to remind you that the Holy Spirit is saying to us that all we have needed has been provided. In reviewing uh, Pastor Wormbrand's story just this morning, I'm reminded that all through his prison experiences, he would have sung this song with gladness. And he would have sung this song in truth. And he would have sung this song with affirmation. That means those of us who have been far more blessed can sing also. For it is true for us. So you see, if we're conscious of any failing then we cannot, in a failure on God's part, <clears throat> then we cannot sing this song. <clears throat> we are singing something that in our own mind and heart is not true. But it is true. <clears throat> then it says, All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. So I stand today a man complete. I stand today since God's perfect, God's given me everything to date that I need. So the writer of the song, you see, if it's not true, we shouldn't be singing it. And if it was not true, the Holy Spirit wouldn't have witnessed on it. And since it is true, we must realize the truth of it. And we must accept that. We must be content with what we have. 
because we have a lot more than what we think we have. And if we were stripped, really stripped of everything, we would know that we have quite a lot. And if we have salvation, we have everything. And God's given us that, and that's what the third stanza speaks about. Pardon. Let's sing it.